Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, throw the head together real quick. Um, hemi heads are, are pretty easy to put together. So we are going to replace the original 10 pound valve springs, 10.8 pound valve springs with some 22 pound valve springs. It'll give us a little bit higher RPM range um, before the valves start floating, so. Try to if you have, if your retainer has a flat spot on it like this, try to line that up with the um, with the rocker tower. Um, it gives you it'll you know give you a little bit of extra clearance. You won't really need it on a stock lift cam, but um, it's good practice. All right. Same deal on the head bolts as the side cover bolts. I go to 150 and then 205. And again, in a crisscross pattern. Okay, the last thing we have to do here to button up this long block is install the push rods. Now, keep in mind, on this motor, we're using a head gasket that's 30 thousandths thinner than the original head gasket would have been, right? We've also machined the head by about 70 thousandths. So we've ended up moving the rocker arms 100 thousandths, I mean, a tenth of an inch, closer to the block, right? Now. That means we can't use the original push rods because they're meant for rocker arms that are a tenth of an inch away. And so if we use them, our rocker arms, let's say this is our rocker arm, right? We want the rocker arm to kind of operate like this, right? We don't want it to be like this. We don't want it to be like this, right? So if here's my original push rod and I've moved that rocker arm pivot closer to the block because I've made everything so much tighter, now, my rocker arm is going to be like that. The problem with that is that that imparts a lateral load onto the valve stem, right? If it's here, if you're going through the middle, it's essentially perpendicular, right? The further you go around that circle, the more extreme that angle becomes. And so what we're shooting for, I mean, there are, there's a lot of measurement and it's like tricky stuff you got to do, but basically what we're looking for, if, if the cam is going to push it down to here, we want to start here, right? We want it to be about even, all right? Now, what we do then is we get what's called a push rod measuring tool, which is basically just an adjustable length push rod that we can put in there and then Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle around with the length until the rocker arm is at the correct angle. Take that out, measure it, and then we go ahead and get make your own push rods, which basically come, I mean, they're not that long, right? They're long, but now you can buy push rods already made to order in the length that you want. Again, just to keep things simple so I don't have to keep a million push rods here, we just use the cut to length ones. So these have been cut to length. All we gotta do is go ahead and slap those in the motor now. So we're gonna pop out these rocker arm pivots, get the rocker arm out of the way, push rod goes down in there, try to find the top of that lifter, and then it all goes back together again, capturing the push rod in place. 
All right, so there we go. Uh, we got the top end all together. We'll go ahead and set that lash down to three thousandths on each side. There's a million videos out there. I'm not going to get into how to set valve lash. Um, but uh, that's it. We got one more episode to go on this bad boy. We're going to throw all the furniture on it and uh, fire this thing up because I'm curious, as I'm sure you are, if it's going to work. So let's find out. Join me for the next episode. And as always, you know, thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks for caring. Thanks for just being you. Okay, see ya.